Hey everybody and welcome to my channel. This is a reading for um, the energy read of what your ex is up to. So it doesn't matter what your sign is, but if their sign is a sun, moon, rising, or Venus, Virgo, this reading is for you. This is what my ex Virgo is up to. Okay, let's get started. Spirit and Angels. Please bring me any messages from the ex Virgo. What are Virgos up to? All right. Let's see what we got. We have the Three of Wands, the Six of Pentacles on the back side, the Ace of Wands on the back side, the Knight of Wands, and Justice. Looking good so far. Ooh. We also have the Fool, the Eight of Cups, the Five of Cups in the reverse, and whoops, one more. There we go. The Page of Pentacles. All right. Okay, sorry about that. Had somebody at my door. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I'm just trying to get all my messages here from Spirit, and we will, yeah, okay, let's see if I can, is that a little better? Maybe, okay, so. Your ex Virgo has the three of wands. So he is really, um, for one, uh, he could have, he could be a little bit on the older side. I'd say late thirties, early forties. Um, he's got darker hair, um, uh, with touches of silver in it for this person especially but um he has found balance see uh, the fire and water again yang in his hand he's found balance within himself finally um he's finally getting answers to the questions he's been asking himself Yeah, balance is very important for your ex Virgo because he needs to be firmly planted in order for him to move into the next phase of uh, his life, whether that be to come back to you or to move on in whatever nature. Um, yeah, and with this uh, element orb, it's really symbolizing the balance between uh, his feelings and his actions or her. It could be either way. I just say he because it's a guy on the card. But um, yeah, yeah, he see on the orb, it's the balance between feelings and action. But he's going to take action because he's holding the wand, the fiery wand, the the, um, we all know that the fire signs is signified by the wand. So, um, he is getting ready to take action. Yeah. He's going to give his whole self to the approaching, um, opportunity that lies with ahead with you and him or them. Sorry. Um, he's, he's found a sense of balance 
but um, he's trying to figure out where to go from here. He's kind of overlooking everything like he worked so hard to get to this point, but now he's not quite sure what to do with it or where to go with it. He also has the Ace of Wands, which um, this represents the gift of energy, which is amazing. Yeah. Your ex Virgo is feeling it's an amazing time for, for to have forward movement with you, to move in a new direction. They have the strength to see it through now. They have been stagnant. They've been stuck. Um, because he knows you feel the same way. They're going to seize the opportunity. Because right now they have just received a huge download from the universe. And they are inspired to take action. Yeah, and then that row is clarified by the Two of Cups. Most definitely. Um, the balance between emotions and action, they're taking action. Their feelings are balanced and um, they're ready to move forward. And they're feeling that now is the perfect time to seize the opportunity. You see in the back, the lightning bolt, it's going to happen that fast too. It's going to happen quick as lightning um, because he feels that you are his two of cups. He feels that you guys are soulmates, and he is ready now to move forward and take action. Yeah, that is just amazing. Um, yeah. So um, on the on the second row here, we have the Knight of Wands on the back side. Um, See, the lightning is in this one as well. Um, the knight and the unicorn are both heading towards the lightning, the wild, crazy lightning that's flashing across the sky with no no hesitation. They're not going to falter in their progress this time. Um, there's no fear anymore. They were held back by fear. They couldn't move forward. They were stagnant because they were fearful of what the future held, but they have no fear now. Yeah. Yeah, this person, they could be more on the, like, uh, this person's very, like, throw caution to the wind at times. Um, they need excitement, adrenaline to feel alive. But then in the next turn of the page, they're so grounded that they're stuck. So um, they're with this new passion lit, lit underneath them, they're throwing caution into the wind. They don't really um, they don't really care right now because they know what they want. Yeah. Yep. And they're going to give their whole being, everything they are, to this passion. Yeah. Because if, if this is your soulmate, there will be no need to um, try to trick him into staying, to try to tying him down. He will give himself freely, completely, 100% devoted to this two of cups person. Um, next you have justice. So your, um, Virgo X is dealing with, um, with karma. He's dealing with, yeah. Yeah. Could be, um, you could be a Libra if you're watching this for your ex Virgo, but, um, Yeah, he, they're ready. This Virgo is ready to, they're ready to put their heart on the line. They're ready to put their heart on the scales. Um, the situation that they're dealing with, they have to have the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. 
Um, yeah, this is just all about fire. Um, you can't, cool, just, you can't, uh, what am I trying to think of? You can't, um, like bargain. You can't try to make a deal with justice. Um, whatever needs to be done in their situation to make it fair and balanced um, and ethically right is currently being done. They're trying to do things the right way. Um, yeah, they could be uh, filing for a divorce. They're seeking legal counsel is what I'm seeing. Sorry about the long pauses in between. I'm just getting so many messages. I'm trying to match up all the ones that are with this storyline. I will go over a second storyline um, here in a second uh, because I got more than one going on here. So, um, yeah, this this uh, Virgo, they are seeking justice, whether it be with the legal system or just within their own selves. But they're going to put their heart on the line with you and uh, and see where that takes them. The next card Virgo has is the Fool. So rather than doing what seems, you know, logical or reasonable or safe, which earth signs love safe, um, they're going to, they're taking on the idea of the leap of faith. They are going to take the jump. Um, what, what matters most right now? To them is that they take the leap because that's a huge, huge um, change for this Virgo who has been stuck and stagnant for far too long. Um, but every everything that you guys have been through, every twist and turn and up and down, it adds to the wisdom of the relationship. Um, he's gonna. This Virgo is gonna choose. To uh, be foolish, possibly to be bold, to take that leaf leap, but it's only because he wants to make um, progress with you. He wants to make uh, a new beginning with you, and this is the only way he knows how. Wow, look at that! Your Virgo, that row is being clarified by the King of Cups. So much love and admiration, and I mean this. Virgo adores, yeah, they adore you. Their passion is just overflowing, overwhelming. Um, and they're willing to take this leap with you. And when they do, like I said, with the night in reverse, once they commit to you, their soulmate, um, it's over. You don't have to ever worry about them committing or, or taking off because they commit wholeheartedly to their soulmate. And with the King of Cups, I mean, how amazing is that? Um, they're following their heart and taking that leap with you. Yeah. So very cool. So the bottom row, they have the Eight of Cups. With this card, they're emotionally drained. They're realizing that when it comes to matters of the heart, they have dealt with too much pain um, and they are, they are walking away. Yeah. Only they know when they can walk away and what's best for them though. So you can't rush it. Um, they're realizing, though, that other people are not going to judge them for walking away. And if they do, then they're not meant to be in their energy anyway. So um, the hardest part for them has, has been making the decision to cut their losses and leave behind what is broken, to leave behind everything that they've worked for to build with this person um, emotionally and materially. But um, they know they know it's time to walk away. They're in search of this cup up here. Yeah.
Okay. Um, your next card for your Virgo X is the Five of Cups in reverse. Um, when this card comes up, it's a lot about um, turning your back on the, the hurt, turning your back on no longer feeling like, like this pain is never going to end. Um, turning your back, or Virgos turning their back, um, under the circumstances that they are dealing with, was probably what they had to do, what they um, were called to do. But like I said, with the red rose in the back, um, it just signifies that they know that you're waiting there. They know that the love for you and you for them is real. Yeah, for sure. This is reconnecting with somebody um, from what I'm seeing. They're also making the conscious um, decision to be happy again, to return to a state of mind that is not full of stress, worry, and heartache. Um, and they will pick up the two of cups and, and share it with you, their soulmate. And with the eight of cups here and the two of cups still standing here, that's the ten of cups. Um, so they are preparing to um, come forward and to uh, to offer to offer not only something tangible but themselves, their heart. Uh, your Virgo, they're learning about the value of wealth, whether it be monetary or. Um, the kind of wealth you have that's not currency. He's he, Virgos are fascinated with the amount of investment you want to put in them. Um, yeah. He's ready to settle down and begin to build a future with you. For sure. And your card signifying that row is the three of wands. Um, yeah, that's amazing. Uh, knowing that your, your ships are coming in. Knowing that everything you have worked hard for, every all the... Uh, heartache and and everything because they know that they caused a lot of pain to their exes. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Spirit is saying that Yeah, you guys are going to reestablish the desire, um, the force, the drive that is pushing you two together. You guys are going to rediscover a feeling that you guys thought you had lost um, when you come back together, which is amazing. Um, the red ribbon tied around the leg, it's, it's just, um, it's remembering what you once had. And it is going to re-spark, rekindle, re-ignite, because this is just amazing. Um, they are turning a whole new page, a whole new um, energy about them. They miss you. They miss you very deeply. Um, they're worried that, that you're not waiting for them. They could be uh, possibly planning to move to move closer to you. Um, even though they haven't reached out to you yet, they know that, um, or if they have, it's been very briefly. But like I said, this is going to come very quickly. 
very fast, like a flash of lightning. And they don't care how dangerous the lightning is. They're going to move towards it because um, they're no longer going to let anything keep them or stop them from being with you. They just have to get their karma balanced out. I do see for this group of you, they are planning to um, file paperwork on their karmic partners. They're leaving their karmic partners and they're going to take a leap of faith with you. Most definitely, because they're spiritually guided to move towards you and, and have this new beginning. Because you got the King of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Three of Wands. They'll be coming very shortly for you guys if you are waiting on a Virgo. Yeah. I am going to clarify this Justice card real fast, because it's the only major arcana in the spread. So Spirit and Angels, why is the Justice card here? For Virgos. The Hanging Man. The Pentacles. And the Eight of Cups. Yep. They've, uh, during their time away, they've taken a lot of time to think about what it is they want. Um, they've taken a lot of time to take a step back, to figure it out, and they can't live without you. Um, they feel that you're loving, nurturing, that you will nurture this relationship. Um, that you will raise beautiful children. This, uh, you guys could be a blended family when you come back together. But during this hanging man um, uh, time, they realize that it's time for them to move on. They got the Eight of Cups twice now. Um, so they're moving forward from, uh, from this person that they are currently with. Okay, for the second situation, um, sorry, I'm, I'm just trying to decipher all these messages. It's crazy. Okay, so um, for the second situation, you guys are um, making plans to meet up with each other. You guys are at a distance from each other currently. I don't see that it's too big a distance, but um, it's a little bit of a drive, you know, an hour at the least or around there. Um, but they're making plans with you to, to come together, to meet up, to, uh, talk about and go over what has happened in the time that they've been away. Um, they're hesitant to reach out to you, however, because they're worried that you will reject them, that you will not want to, um, to see them. But when you guys, um, come together, it's going to be like very fast, very quick energy. Um, like I said, in this situation as well, it's, it's just the, like a flash and it's there, it's here. So, um, they're going to reach out to you within, I would say, uh, three days, three weeks. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And the relationship is just going to progress in an instant. They're coming in very quick. Like I said, they're uh, throwing caution to the wind and moving forward. For this group of you, um, they are making you aware that they have separated from their karmic partner, that they no longer have to share their energy with between you and somebody else, and they're ready to set out on this new adventure with you. They know that you're who they want to, um, who they want to start with or to be with. Uh, wow. Yeah. So with the eight of cups here, they have already set out on their spiritual journey. They have already left this person and they are currently, um, single and working on themselves. They have, um, come to a place where they are, um, they have been spiritually awakened to the connection to where they know that in order for them to have the Ten of Cups, they have to find you. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, they're mourning the loss of losing you. Uh, they're scared that they've lost you for good. And they're really hesitant about reaching out because they're worried that you're going to reject them. They, The offer that they're going to come at you with may seem um, very immature, very... Uh, very elementary almost. But that's just because they're afraid to 
make themselves too vulnerable and put themselves too far out there and then to be rejected. So um, one group of you, they are contacting you to make you aware that they are making plans to leave their current karmic, but no matter what, they're coming towards you and it's going to happen very quickly with a new beginning, a new start and an offer. Um, for the second group of you, they are already uh, left their partners. They have already started their journey and they're starting to heal. And once again, they're going to come at you very quickly. And uh, they may not offer very much in the beginning because they're scared you're going to uh, reject them. So that's what your Virgo exes are up to um, for the next couple weeks. Um, big movements, big movements with the uh, solar eclipse and now with a lunar eclipse coming up. This is a huge push in the direction of all those who needed a little bit of help getting back into their path. So if you guys enjoyed this reading and would like me to continue to keep doing um, what's up with your exes readings, please comment below and let me know yes or no, um, if it resonated or not. And um, especially make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it, because that is how I um, choose who or what order my readings are in. So thank you guys for joining me and um, keeping up with what your Virgo is up to. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and I will see you next time. Thank you.